In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Good afternoon, friends, uh, brothers and sisters. Another week, uh, blessed Monday for everyone as we go on with this uh, joyful journey, starting another day, another week. And uh, again, maybe we're still puzzled, still uh, stressed, still anxious. Uh, but uh, it's time to be joyful, time to be uh, hoping and trusting in the Lord. Today's message, as we move on towards declaring his kingdom, as we move on throughout this journey, we cannot uh, keep going unless we have uh, a helper. We have him as the helper that can, uh, we can depend on him in every single step that we take. Today's message is about the help of the faith. Look with me and read with me today's reading. Uh, I'll take the passage of the psalm, Psalm 70 and uh, verse 5. But I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not delay. Again, Psalm 70, verse 5. But I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not delay delay. What a beautiful message and a beautiful prayer that we all in need to really not just say it by our tongues but from the depth of the heart. The help of the faith. That faith that we have is not just a principle that we believe in but it's a living faith that is full of help. Three things in order to focus on that as we always do. Number one is accept, number two is allow, and number three is act. Accept as we here, the psalm today, accept that fact that I am poor and needy. We, a lot of times, tend to run away from that, to avoid that, to fight that. But you know what? We will never get the help unless, number one, we accept the fact that we are poor and needy, as the psalmist says. But I am poor and needy. Accept that fact. Don't run away from it. Don't try to hide it. It's okay not to be okay. It's okay not to be okay. So uh, number one is uh, accept. Number two is uh, allow. Allow him to come and talk to you and send a message to you. Allow him to actually say that, you know what, there is uh, need and I have that need. I can feel that need for you. Allow him to work. Give him time to work. The psalm said that uh, do not delay, but you know what? Yes, we need to say that, but we also need to allow him to work with us. And number three, act. Act within yourselves, first of all. God is not able to help us if we are not willing to help ourselves. Don't just sit and wait and surrender to what we call self-pity, self-pity, that we feel bad for ourselves and we like doing that sometimes. But act, act on the message that you hear. Act to push yourself, act in order to stretch your hand to his hand that is stretched out to help us from where we at. The faith that is full of help in order to do this, again, accept the fact that we are poor and needy. Number two, allow him to work with you, even if it's beyond what we can expect, even if it's beyond the time that we have. And number three, act with that. Don't just sit and wait, but you have a role in reaching out and taking that help that is offered to you. The more we do this, the more we're actually moving on into and in the path of the journey in order to declare his kingdom with his help. Have a blessed week and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.